Hi folks and welcome to Get Real Fishing. I'm your host Captain Dave Adrian, bringing you some of the most exciting angling adventures in western New York. Today I'm out on a, on a pond in the southern tier. We're going to be doing some ice fishing. I think we've got some perch, possibly some walleye and some crappie for you. So we'll see how that goes. But basically what we've got to do is uh, drill some holes in the ice. We've got a small um, fishing, ice fishing hut and uh, we'll be trying some minnows. But uh, it should be pretty interesting. Just gonna drill some holes for starters and see what we have for depth. We'll go ahead and uh, set this here. We'll have one hole for one fisherman and one hole for another. We'll, we'll actually set the, uh, the hut right on top of there. So we'll see how this goes. There we go. And we're through. Just clear the hole. Okay, we've got at least a couple of holes drilled. And what I'm going to do is uh, open up my arsenal of, of ice fishing poles and gear. Um, basically today I'm just gonna use two ice fishing spinning rods, you know, the short, short deal. Just like so, with about an eighth inch jig. Um, chartreuse has been pretty good, so we'll do that. Four pound test mono, and we'll, uh, we'll probably just use some um, emerald shiners, and possibly a larger sucker. Uh, we may try that for some larger fish if we have them in there. And I'll just do a, a kind of a test right now to see if we've got any fish around. Uh, I'll also lower the aqua view, and just kind of get a feel. If, if I don't feel like this is a good spot, I'll, uh, I'll pack up and move to another location. They, the fish may be schooled up and holding in one, holding to structure or holding to deeper water. And I just um, increase my odds of getting into more fish instead of this, a few stragglers. So we'll give this a try. Well, I had to untangle the, uh, the rod, but I did wind up with one nice crappie here. There's about a, oh, almost a pound crappie. That's uh, actually, to be honest with you, somewhat typical of this pond. We're gonna try to see if we can't do a little better for some walleye. I drilled this hole earlier, and you can see it's already iced over. So we just use a little tool like this to clean that out. And I've got a, a little bit larger bait, it's just a common sucker. Again, I just drop it to the bottom, pick up a little bit, and there's a fish. This is a little larger fish. Hopefully I'll get him in here. A little bigger, come on. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh man, he just saw the light of day. He didn't like that. This is definitely, oh, it's a walleye. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't even get him close to the hole. Let's see if I can get him out of here. Definitely a larger fish. I thought maybe there was some walleye around. There we go. That's a little better. And as I said, I lost a few about this size, so I know that they're. Uh, I know that they're here. This is uh, I don't know, maybe 13 inches, 14 inches or so. Nice fish, healthy. But that's what we were looking for. Now we see if we can't get something a little larger in a walleye. So there's no reason to move. We'll just keep fishing this same area. Got a bite here. He's on there. Got him. Come on, guy. Oh, nice perch. Look at that perch. Wow, that's as big a perch as I've caught yet in this pond. Really nice. Another fish. Oh, nice big perch. 
Oh boy, that's a that's bigger than the last one. Last <laughs> big one that we caught. <clears throat> that's, that's a decent fish for a, for a pond like this. Still looking for that big walleye though. Well, I'm set up in the uh, the hut now. It only took a few minutes to set up, and um, what a difference! I mean, it's. The effect uh, in terms of the wind chill is just phenomenal. Um, I like to set up the aqua view, you know, when I'm inside like this because I can really see quite a bit. And uh, I do see some, some activity down there. I can't quite make out exactly what's going on, but, um, you know, we can always just keep an eye on things. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's got some weight to him. Decent fish. I don't know if it's a walleye. Oh, it's it's decent. Oh, wow, nice big perch. That's another big, huge perch for a pond like this. Oh, that's incredible. And he swallowed it. But we got that out. That's a real nice fish. There's another decent sized fish. Whoa. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, there's a nice big crappie. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. That's not really not bad at all. They look white. They're not white crappie. They're black, black crappie, but they're doing real well. Very healthy. There's another one. Feels like a walleye again. Oh, come on. Oh, good fighting fish. Come on, buddy. Nice perch. Oh, that's a nice perch. That's a real nice perch. Another big one. Oh. <laughs> Man, oh man. It's gotta be another big, oh, that's a giant perch. Oh my God, <laughs> look at the size of this perch. Oh my gosh, he's huge. Oh, that's great. That's exactly what we've been, we've been hoping to see. Some really nice large perch like that. Well, I guess we're gonna wrap it up for today. We fished for about four hours or so and uh, got quite a few crappie and walleye and perch. Um, this is a managed lake. Oh, there's a nice fish. Oh man, this is a really nice fish. Come on. I have yet to catch one of these really big slobs. Oh, it's a big walleye. Oh, if I can get him up through the ice. There we go. <laughs> That's as big as I've caught here. It's a nice fish. I've lost quite a few today like this. <laughs> At least four, four or five, I guess. That's, you know, for a lake like this, three acres, um, that's a good healthy fish. And um, in a couple of years, it'll be even bigger. That's great. 